Hello, my beautiful Cancerians. Welcome to this weekend's read, the weekend tarot for March 20th through 22nd, 2020. My name's Jenny, and this is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to start off with a general feel for your weekend, what uh, the energies are that are going to help you get through or that you're going to need that will assist you in what faces you, okay? Um, because it's for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is a general reading for the uh, for the Cancer Collective. By all means, if you don't know what your moon or your rising sign, check out the link in the description below, and you can get a free natal chart there. And then you can learn what your moon sign is, where the moon was when you were born, what your rising sign was, uh, where Venus was, because this is a general reading, and it may not resonate with you this weekend, Cancer, but it, it may. Uh, your moon sign or your rising sign may. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Okay, the general energy is DNA and karma. Ooh, that sounds kind of heavy already, right? Right, Cancer? All right, well, let's see what we've got facing us. I'm Cancer, too, so... Let's see what's ahead of us for this weekend, March 20, 20th through the 22nd, 2020. It's for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what we've got going on, what we're, what we're going to be feeling, what we're going to be experiencing. DNA and karma for sure. Okay. Okay, Cancer. Ah, many of you are feeling stuck, not going forward. Uh, you're spinning your wheels. Let's see what got you to this point. Let's see what got us to this point. I'm not feeling that right now, though. Um, but you may be. So let's see what's going on. What brought you to this point of being stuck, feeling stuck, not fo not going forward? Like dead in the water, pretty much. That's it. Like the charioteer's fast. And he's balanced, you know. He's got yin and yang, the black and the white. And he, like he's, he's a fast guy. He's like, sh -sh, cracks the whip and off they go. And when it's in reverse, it's like, ee -ee, stop short. Like, you know, they stop short and and uh, they go forward and, you know, go flying forward. And it's like, what the heck happened? Okay. So we've been doing some mourning in the past. So um, what this, because it's in the past position, what brought us, what brought you to this point, my beautiful Cancerians, um, you've been in a lot of pain in the past. You can't change the past. You know, we have to go forward, and you went forward. You let go of things in the past. You forgave yourself. You forgave others. Sorry, that's my dog. She's hearing probably a leaf fall. And, um, okay, let's see how this is going to culminate for you, Cancer. Okay. Whew. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Okay, so you're feeling right now stuck, dead in the water. What you're planning, you're not moving ahead like you thought you would be. Um, coming up this weekend. But, you know, you've been through a lot of pain. The Five of Cups is a card of mourning. Um, just really, really crying and sadness. And normally when it's in reversed, um, it's because, for me, you're letting go and you've moved on. But here, in reverse, you did move on. But you went through a lot of pain, and you didn't share it, actually, with people. You know, you may not have shared it the way you, th you know, people may not have been aware of what you were going through. But you did the inner work, you did the release work, you moved forward, and you're still stuck. It's like, what the heck is going on? Why am I not moving forward? What is it? What is the problem? Here, that's my little Nico here who wants to come up on, on his little bed, but he's got to wait. Um... So Cancerian, it, it, Cancers, it's just simply because right now, this is a time, sometimes when we don't move on and things are stuck and things are, sometimes the universe is just, we're in a holding pattern. Sometimes we're in a holding, a holding pattern so that things be, can be set into place for us to accomplish what we want to accomplish or to get what we want to do. Because Cancer, look, it's going to happen by the end of the weekend or, you know, next week, you know, because this is a, a, a quick little reading, but you've got everything y you need. It's like it, he's juggling. So it's showing you're juggling a lot of stuff and you're trying to get a lot of stuff done. But you know what? It's also balance. He's got the infinity symbol and he's balancing. So you can juggle a lot if you balance your time. 
this weekend. You can juggle a lot if you if you get enough to to eat, if you if you get enough sleep. You know, see life is up and down. See the waves in the background, it's up and down. Life has its ups and downs. But he's doing it and you can do it, Cancerians. Listen, for me this is trouble waters behind you. So we can stay ahead of life's ups and downs, my beautiful moon children. Listen, we can stay ahead of the beautiful, of the ups and downs and the problems. See how he's in front of the problems? Okay, trouble water's behind him. He's staying in front of it, and he's just balancing. He's managing his time wisely. He's, <coughs> excuse me, he's, he can do it all. Like he's wearing, he, he, it's only got one hat, but like if you're a single mom or if you're a mom and you, you've got a lot going on, you could be an executive, you could be an employee, whatever it is, you've got a lot of responsibilities, but you can balance and manage it all. You can do it. The DNA, the karma, Cancerian, this is what's all around you. So karma isn't like you're going to be punished. So people say, oh, karma's going to get him. No, it doesn't happen in this life, folks. It, it, it doesn't happen like that. Karma simply means, it's not a punishment. It simply means your actions in this life determine your incarnation, let's say, in the next life. Um, What you're living now, let's say, is from the past. It's from a previous life. Yeah, that's fine. But think of the DNA. So we come to this earth, we're imprinted. We've got the DNA from from the past, past lives, spiritual energy. We've got it, right? But we also have everything we need to break through and and move forward, okay? We've got it. So karma is not a bad thing. We can use this to our advantage and that's what you need to do this weekend, Cancer, okay? Because you can balance. It, it, karma's not a bad thing. Just use it. Use what you have in your DNA. Open it up. Open it up. So what is it? You've, you've, dealt, you've dealt with this junk from the past. You've dealt with it. Any junk that there was, you've dealt with it. And you've dealt with it from a past life or a past life. Your, pa your past incarnation, let's say. Um... You've done it, you see? You've done it, and that's what got you to this point. So you did move on, but now it still doesn't seem to be working. So this card, this weekend, do what you do best, my beautiful lone children. Do what you do best. Go inward. Go inward now. Now's the time to do things differently, okay? Not necessarily because you've already let go of the past. You've already moved forward. So now's the time, okay, what you're doing now isn't working. So what you have to do is see things from a different perspective, try different things, get in line with your higher self, your DNA, get in line with what's for your best and highest good, not necessarily how you want to do it. You know that saying, let go and let God? It's the same thing. Once we let go of things and we let God or spirituality or our higher selves take over, things work out so much better. They work out so much better. And you want to, you want to be able to move forward right? And as you move forward, you're balancing and you're juggling a lot of stuff. So stop this weekend. Stop trying. Okay. Um, years ago, um, my good friends had a little boy. They had a baby. And as he grew up, he started, you know, he became a toddler. And um, they had a table in their dining room. And this little boy would try to go under the table. And instead of ducking Every time he would go to the table, he would keep hitting the edge of the table with his forehead. And no matter how hard his parents tried to teach him to duck, he didn't. He just kept banging his head, banging his head, and banging his head. The kid just did not want to duck. He didn't want to do things differently. And then finally, one day, and honestly, it looked like his parents were beating him, and I swear to you, they were not. I was watching him. It's like, dude, you got to, you got to duck, you got to bend, you got to change a little bit, and then you can go forward. And he kept hitting the stop because he, he and he ended up with a bruise and on his forehead. He just wouldn't. He kept trying to get under that table, but in, he he just was not changing what he was doing. So, Cancerians, change the way you're doing things. Stop. Take this weekend. Take this weekend to examine yourself. Look inward. Get in touch with your higher self. Get in touch with that DNA. Explore that junk DNA scientists say that we have. Just look inside yourself. 
because you can do this cancer okay you'll get through it you'll figure it out you can balance you can juggle you can do all those things and you can stay ahead of life's ups and downs okay you can stay ahead of it so I will see you next weekend. I am working on the April readings, and those of you who haven't read with me before, there is a special introductory offer in the description below. It's a one-time deal, and uh, take advantage of it. I do Skype, especially now in these uncertain times. You know, we just kind of want to get a heads up of what's going on. So I am doing personal readings right now. Check the link below. And if you don't know how to do that, because I've had people ask me, uh, Jenny, I don't see the links. And so you click on the title of the video and then where it says see more click on see more and you'll see all the links below the earth magic deck is what i use here this weekend and um you'll see the links for your free birth chart your natal chart and you'll also see um links to a lot of stuff so i will see you next weekend cancer take care have a great weekend and stay spiritual as my mom always said take care <laughs>